Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. This is your safe place and I'm Rosa and this is your pick a card reading of today. So this reading is going to be about your future spouse, the person you are going to marry or the person you'll have the happily ever after. So you can take as you wish. I have three different piles for you. I pre-shuffled the decks and um, before choosing your deck, I want you to take a while, you know, close your eyes, clear your mind, take deep breaths and ask your higher self, who is the person I'm going to marry? Who is my future spouse? And then open your eyes, look at the cards, which one is calling you? Okay? You can do this process after I'll introduce the decks. So I will not say their names right now, <laughs> okay, uh, to not to affect you, but I describe them in the reading. So this is going to be pile number one, the cat <laughs> biting hearts. This is going to be pile number two the dog in the purples and this is going to be pile number three the cat in the back so you can do the process while pausing the video take your time okay take your time don't hurry and I begin to describe with the pile number one okay pile number one welcome back so i put some of the oracle cards and they indicate the personality the characteristic and the story of your future spouse their life story okay their personality so let's begin with the indicator the cute cat <laughs> biting hearts so it is actually three of swords from tarot and you know three or of swords is about pain losses um suffering heartbreaks so i believe um your future spouse is someone who actually had so many heartbreaks so many sufferings because you know this person is vulnerable okay they um, are not afraid of showing their vulnerable side to their loved ones if someone is um, in their close circle if someone is there in their life in their love life this is someone who is not afraid of showing their, their vulnerable side because you know right now they know how to suffer and also they know how to heal from that suffering and actually i believe um these much sufferings caused in growth you know this person knows that in order to grow up yes we must have some sufferings you know there is uh, no growth without suffering without a process so they know this bitter side of life and I believe actually this is somehow beautiful you know because it's the meaning of being a human so this is this is very uh, humanary so also I believe there is somehow a uh, naughty but you know not in a bad way <laughs> uh, they are cute they are cute and naughty at the same time but maybe for some of them um, also they know how to hurt someone you know also they know how to break someone's heart but I believe they are not doing that uh, with you know dark intentions because the card here the catalyst um, it's about the radical changes, you know, um, taking control of 
situations. Um, you can think the catalyst as someone who um, blows the cobwebs from your house, you know, who uh, cleans the dust from your house, from your table. And this is not a bad thing, you know. It is actually true. We need to blow some cobwebs from our lives, the corners of our lives to clean them. We need sometimes that kind of a hurricane. And sometimes um, to wake up from, you know, our uh, new dreams, we need this kind of people in our life. You know, they tell the truth. Yes, it is harsh. It is hard to process, but that is the truth. This is not someone who has uh, dark secrets, <laughs> you know. This is not someone who lies to people around them. Actually, they are this, you know, true friend, this true um, pal. Yes, they tell the truth, but yes, they can hurt you because, you know, the, this is the truth, <laughs> okay? So, and I believe with the catalyst here, this person is like, you know, the tower card from Tarot, you know? Tower and the catalyst are alike. It's the um, bolt of lightning, you know, on the top of the tower. It cleans the vanity, it cleans the dark, it cleans the dust. Yes, that can be uh, a chaos, a destruction, but it is for um, a better start, you know, a better beginning, a new beginning. Because, you know, you need to clean these cobwebs from your house. And cleaning the cobwebs, yes, maybe that can be um, bad for the spider who built this, but it is a good thing for you, for your, you know, breaths for the oxygen <laughs> you are breathing so i believe they are this kind of people who yes tells the truth and um hurts the people but you know in a good way yeah these are the people who brings our lives the radical changes you know like um rebellions <laughs> you know uh like French Revolution, yes, <laughs> that was violent, but you know, it caused in so many human rights. It is like this kind of people, I believe. So, also, what we see here, they know, they appreciate the good in life, you know, the blessings they have because. As I said before, um, they had so many pains, they had so many sufferings. And I believe in their childhood, that was them, you know. The fearful child inside, but the courageous person on the outside. They break the cages, you know, because they are rebellious. Yes, they are like this hero archetype. But that wasn't um, easy for them. Because, you know, if you have fears, if you have um, these feelings, okay, it is not uh, easy to be courageous and in order to be a courageous person yes there must be something to be fear of and i know uh, i believe they know the meaning of fear pain heartbreaks but that caused in in a very um 
strong personality. And I believe um, it wasn't a easygoing childhood for them. Maybe they were the child in their family um, that who is, you know, rebellious, who is the naughty one, who is the one who always gets in conflicts with their parents, with their siblings, because um, they are not conformist, you know, they are not conformist. They know how to challenge people because this is just them, you know, they are the catalyst. They are the uh, lightning. <laughs> they are the lightning that falls into the tower. They do not like the vanity, arrogancy, and hypocrisy in others. Yeah, they are like the tower cart <laughs> in Tarot. Yeah. And right now, they know how to be resilient. They know how to carry their burdens with them. And I believe right now, yes, they can do it um, in a much more healthier way. Yeah. You know, they are like this spirit, the antelope. And antelopes are always careful. You know, they are always careful because there are lions, there are tigers, there are crocodiles <laughs> after them. So they know how to run, yes, if it is necessary, but also they know how not to get in trouble. I don't know if I can <laughs> explain the situation, but they are, you know, this kind of intelligent people. They know um, how to act in a mature way. These people are mature, you know. These are adults. This is not a child, you know. This is not a child. So in that manner, I believe um, this is not going to be hard to live a relationship with them but and also I see here a person and that can be maybe from your past obviously not all of you but for some of you this someone from your past that can be an ex-partner, that can be an ex-lover, ex-crush, or even an ex-spouse, okay? Because I see here some um, past drama, you know? And also, what I see because of that past drama, um, experiencing a relationship is with this person um, can feel like you know finding something you have lost in the past with the here finding card and the blessings these people know how to appreciate the value of something yeah they're always seeking the truth they're always um seeking the blessings in their life journey and actually the gifts from life the findings and blessing from life find them this is really beautiful this is someone who um find their true path, you know, they know their true path, their true journey, and they realize their life purpose, I believe. 
And also the finding cards is about the um, suffering in the past. So yes, they have experienced lots of um, losses, heartbreaks, but I believe after the year, you know, 25s or the year 30s, the universe, the life, the God, um, give them some unexpected gifts, yeah, some blessings, and they know how to appreciate, um, how to feel gratitude towards them. And because of that, they know um, how to be thankful, how to thank to the universe or the God. And also, if this person um, has a religion, if they has a belief system, they pray a lot, okay? They pray a lot to the God. Yeah, because they know they can change things and things change for them, for the better. And they are very um, aware of that, okay? Because this was them. This fearful child was them. And because they endured this hardness of life, right now, for most of them, they are experiencing these uh, blissful gifts. Okay, this is very beautiful. So now right, let's see their tarot cards. Okay. Six of Swords, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, and here also with the Antelope, their life has so much speed, you know. This is a very exciting life story. Yeah, they built their own way, they built um, their path, their life purpose. But before doing that, actually, they have experienced lots of uh, givings up with here with the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is um, living a past behind because you know you had no other choice this is um, about the abandonments so maybe they were abandoned by the people they trusted and here we see a baby with this woman so maybe uh, for some of you, obviously, that can be someone who lost their life partner, a single parent, maybe, a single mother or a single father. And maybe for some of you, um, this person can be orphan, okay? Maybe this is their, you know, sibling, yeah. Maybe they lost their parents at a very young age. Or even uh, maybe for some of them, they grow up with a single parent. So they know how to be alone in life. This is okay, you know, for them. It is not uh, so painful to be alone because they were alone in their childhood a lot okay this is like you know um yeah i believe they didn't grow up in a you know 
traditional and um, corrupted family. Yes, they have siblings, but there was something, you know, lacks. Yeah. And it is someone who has really good education and obviously, yeah. They teach her themselves, you know, they teach her themselves. Yeah, this is their story. And right now, they are, um, how can I say, enjoying their, you know, accomplishments, their achievements in their childhood. They didn't have so much abundance. They didn't have, you know, this big family, that traditional family. Yeah, maybe they um, moved a lot, you know, maybe they moved a lot to other cities, to other countries, maybe. But right now, it is uh, easy for them to move to another cities, another countries, and actually right now they are enjoying this you know they travel a lot two of ones is about the realm of unknown so this is a person who is open to other experiences they have no hesitation to experience life um, in other ways yeah because you know when you have this kind of a um, uh, hard childhood and when you grow up you have nothing to be fear of you know this is like uh, it can get can it be <laughs> any worse no I don't think so I have all the things right now I have all the wealth all the enjoyment all the food <laughs> all the wine maybe and this king of pentacles reminds me of the devil i don't know but yeah with here you know the apple <laughs> he is biting an apple and there is you know the cat biting the hearts hmm I believe they also yeah broke so many hearts because you know um, either they are very beautiful very charming or you know very handsome or they are very charismatic yeah they have that aura um, appeals to everyone you know this is someone when uh, walks through an environment when they go in a public place they get all the yeah applause all the looks <laughs> people love to look at them yeah and they can be very muscular you know maybe they love to do sports yeah maybe a gym buddy <laughs> that can be yes because you know they appreciate the value of their body king of pentacles um, is the energy of Taurus you know so they know where to eat a good meal where to drink a good wine and also they know how to look at um, their bodies they know how to nurture their bodies yeah they work a lot because you know their life is so much fast 
Yeah, this is someone who is always busy. But after this much work, they know how to enjoy the good things in their life. Yeah. They can be somehow uh, hedonistic, but, you know, in a very uh, intellectual way, in a very sophisticated way, you know. Yeah. And for the majority of them, they are good cooks and their uh, love, love language can be cooking uh, dinner, can be cooking meals for the loved ones, you know. When you love someone, they cook for them, <laughs> they nurture them, they feed them, you know, <laughs> they feed them yeah and also they are very wise because you know what we said before they had so many sufferings and that caused them growth like a tree you know like a willow tree you can think like them uh, like this you know willow tree yeah for willow trees it takes uh, time to grow up you know because uh, they don't live in an easy environment and because of these uh, lacks because of these shortages willow trees expand their roots on rocks on you know roots of their trees and they get strong yeah and after that, you just look at and wow, <laughs> such a big willow tree. So this is like, you know, their life story. They begin with the uh, zero. They begin from zero to their life. But right now they have all the good things, all the tastes, taste of life. And if they have some siblings, sisters or brothers, I don't know, they really love them. They really care for them. And maybe they can want children when they get married. Yeah, at least two or three children. And also they love to pet animals. So maybe they can have pets, cats, dogs, um, ferrets, I guess. Yeah, ferrets. And I see here some frogs, <laughs> maybe even frogs. Yeah. And what zodiac signs I see here? Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Cancerian. Taurus and Taurus again. So this can be their zodiac signs, their sun, their moon, their ascendant, you know. Maybe they have some important uh, placements in their birth chart. Yeah. And for some of them, hmm. They can be musicians, I don't know, but I'm hearing the musician. And for some of them, this is someone who reads and travels a lot. Yeah. So maybe they can be academicians, they can be professors at universities. They can be teachers. And for some of them, they can be in television, newspapers, magazines, you know, and even hmm, planners, you know, party planning, organization planning, yeah, a wedding planner, I don't know, but it's like, you know, this is someone who really um 
give amusement to the others. Yeah. They know how to entertain themselves, yes, but also the other people. Hmm, very interesting. And this is someone who is loyal to their routines, their lifestyle. They must eat at least three meals in a day. Yeah, they don't like to skip their meals because, you know, nurturing their bodies, it is important for them. Yeah, their body is like a temple for them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they carry it so much. And also, these are the people who give uh, advice to their circle, their friends. Yeah, they are the mentors, they are the advisors in a friend group. Yeah, they are like, you know, this uh, father figure <laughs> who gives uh, all the time the advices. Yeah, they're like Tad from How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, they are the father. <laughs> they are the father. They are dreaming of a beautiful family, a beautiful wife, beautiful children, <laughs> a beautiful lifestyle. Yeah, they are the tat. They are the tat. So let's see your relationship with them. Oops. How is it going to be happen? So when you meet them, um, you can see their interest in their eyes. You know, they are like this king of wands and uh, what other zodiac I see here? Leo. Scorpio and Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Yeah, <laughs> these are fixed signs in the word card. Yeah, lots of Taurus, lots of Leo, lots of Scorpio. Okay, so they are this, you know, as I said, the figure, father figure, but they're also. Um, who take initiatives, you know, they are not afraid of showing their interest. Yeah. And when you meet them, uh, you'll see immediately you catch their feelings, their attentions. They'll just, um, you know, cannot take their eyes off you. <laughs> Yeah, they also will love to tease you, you know, with this um, undercover acts. Yeah, they will tease you. And when you say something to them, when you talk to them, they just, you know, can you see, they cannot take their eyes. So, <laughs> It may be feel like a prison for you, like, you know, when you do anything, they just keep following you. They just keep looking at you. Yeah, they are not afraid of showing their feelings. And for some of you, that can be your best friend, you know, a friendship. And that friendship can a uh, blossom in something more as it said here maybe this was a childhood friend maybe a high school friend a college friend or even a colleague for you but for some of you even if that wasn't a friend of yours when you meet and when you fall in love with each other you are going to be each other's best friend, you know. This is that kind of a relationship. 
they are going to be your soulmate and i believe you'll notice that you know you'll notice that immediately and <laughs> Obviously, you are giving them butterflies in their stomach, yes, but also they are going to give you butterflies <laughs> in your heart, in your stomach, or even maybe uh, they can give you a presence with this, you know, uh, boat sails and butterflies, these symbols maybe can be important. And I see a, a globe here, maybe map, globe, hmm. maybe some uh, geogra geographical, I can't say the word, uh, <laughs> you get the idea, maybe a map of the world, maybe something related to uh, ethnic cultures, yeah, maybe some local gift uh, from somewhere where they traveled to, you know if they travel to other countries or other locations I believe they are going to um, give you presents from these places so yes this is going to be your best friend yeah and believe me, this is the best feeling in the world because, you know, my husband is my best friend and, you know, <laughs> this is the best feeling. <laughs> and I believe you are going to be like that. Yeah. Then there is something to tell. You'll be the first one. Uh, they are giving this secret. They are giving these gossips, you know. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is very... Um, warm yeah very, very romantic feeling and when they see you you know they are mm, in that fire <laughs> in that passionate feelings for you yeah for some people uh, they can be seen like you know a playboy maybe a heartbreaker but I believe not for you, you know, even if they uh, broke your heart in the past, I believe they will tolerate this in the future, yeah. And when you are with them, you'll feel like, you know, home. Because the word card is a gift from universe. When we meet this uh, type of relationships, we see a complete feeling, you know, this completeness, this feeling of, yeah, I am a whole knife, knife right now, yeah. I am whole, I am completed now, yeah. This is going to be your soulmate. And this is going to be your best friend, you know. <laughs> and for some of you, this can be your best friend from, you know, back then and even for some of you that can be a love from childhood from past because I believe you know this person yeah when you watch the reading you will know this person yeah pile number one so this was your reading <laughs> I get excited a lot <laughs> so uh, I apologize for any mistakes in my speaking so I hope you enjoyed the reading and if you do please subscribe to my channel um, give a comment leave a comment below give a thumbs up so I hope to see you in other readings take care of yourself bye welcome back pile number two so I put some of the oracle cards uh, to begin with and these are going to talk about the qualities characteristics of your future spouse and we'll see some of the hints of their life story okay their life journey so let's uh, begin with the colors actually because the purple um, is taking my attention 
Yeah. Purple is about our crown chakra, okay, our seventh chakra. So maybe your future spouse is someone who is very uh, strong with their crown chakra, who is very one with the divine, okay? So if they have a belief system, a religion, they can be very um, obedient to the gods. They can be very obedient um, to do their, you know, belief systems, rules, okay? And also maybe uh, they can be very obedient uh, to the traditions, okay? Maybe. So, this is someone who is very spiritual and if they want something from universe or from God, um it doesn't matter how it takes how much time it takes they get this okay uh, they are very successful at gaining uh their goals in life okay so let's begin with the indicator here we see a dog in purples and it's actually the devil card from you know the cat tarot deck so <laughs> it's very funny because you know for <laughs> it's like for cats the devil is the dog <laughs> it's funny so what we see here the number 15 so maybe the 15 can be important uh, maybe they can be Capricorn maybe they born in January or maybe uh, their birth of date can be 15 or like you know one five uh, first of May maybe and maybe you can you and them uh, in your relationship in your marriage uh, you can have an age gap maybe like you know 15 years not obviously for uh, most of you but maybe the uh, minority okay so what devil talks about uh devil card in tarot is about our you know dark side our dark uh self our shadow self our intentions but our hidden intentions uh it can also talk about the you know lies um sometimes two-faced situations and what i get here yes this dog seems like you know uh very gentle very kind uh, he's smiling at us he's raising his paw yes but also you know it's like your future spouse yes seems like a nice person on the outside but in their inside um they have so much things to cover you know there is a life story uh, that involves lots of injustice lots of imbalances and it seems like uh, maybe they were the victim okay maybe they were the victim and um, how can I say it's like their beginning of story it's the beginning of story maybe they are childhood maybe they are uh, teenage years and right now they are like this uh, cat spirit here and it talks about independence so there is some contrast here you know it's like um, they are managing in balancing their life yeah because the devil card um, talks about being submissive being obedient you know because what we see here a collar around this uh, dog's neck so it's like you know this dog is a slave to its harmful instincts but if the dog really wants to free itself actually he can do you know because the leash is not that tight actually leash is quite uh, loose 
So I believe this person um, had some bad stories, you know, had some victim stories, had some traumas in their early ages. But over time, you know, in over time, uh, they freed themselves. So right now they know the value of being independent because the cat uh, spirit talks about protecting our independence. You know, cats are like that. Uh, when you feed a dog, <laughs> it really worship you, you know because the dogs are submissive the dogs are obedient if you are the alpha if you can be the alpha then um your component your you know the other dog <laughs> obeys you but the cats no this is not the same story for the cats uh hierarchy <laughs> doesn't mean a thing you know um you can feed them you can take care of them you can love them it doesn't matter if a cat does not love you <laughs> it doesn't love you you know it's just the cats and we all uh accept the cats as who they are so i believe there was a fight for them you know there was a battle for this uh your future person yeah that wasn't easy for them maybe they fought uh their family their friends maybe uh their partners to get their independence you know it was like a battle it was like a, a war for them yeah actually they have a very um rich imagination they are very productive um they are very creative you know with here the painter card maybe they were imagining how would it be if i was free how I will how it would be if uh, i do the things as i wanted them yeah but there were some you know walls some murals in front of them so they had to paint them you know they had to color them with their imagination uh with their inner strength to make their life beautiful because um before coloring these walls this was you know just white and black this was like you know a, a boring wall a boring uh, mural but they just put this flower paint this flowers and painted that with the color of red so red is the color of you know passion it's the root chakra it's the feeling of uh, being secure so I believe they were not like that they were not that independent when they were a child when they were uh, a young person but in over time maybe with the year um yeah 25s 30s you know yeah after 25 maybe they just um know how to paint how to color their life they just right now enjoying the nourishment they have they are very productive they are very how can i say very fertile you know when uh this person goes to a place there is some abundance there is some nourishment you know there is uh, lots of foods lots of sources lots of beautiful things they are bringing the beauty 
into the people in their lives you know even if they were treated badly in their you know early ages right now they have this uh, strength they have this um, how can I say wealth it's like wealth but not actually the wealth how can I say this positive attitude actually yes this positive attitude this alive being alive uh, being fresh attitude so when they have something they are just you know giving this to the others they love to share but right now they don't feel um, they don't feel anymore submissive to the others you know they can raise their voice because it was a hard um, journey for them it was a hard experience for them and they know the value of being independent and I believe they are also help the people help the others to enable them to become you know independent yeah they are like you know saving the others who seems like you know their uh, past you know their early ages they are saving this kind of people yeah they are helping them because the justice was something uh, they were seeking through and I believe they were misunderstood and misbehave you know mistreated by the people they love okay so maybe they had you know abusive partners maybe manipulative partners in the past and maybe um, being in a committed relationship wasn't for easy for them because they always uh, choose the wrong people okay so it seems like um, they have so much secrets because they want, don't want to share this trauma with the others, you know, with the strangers. Um, they want to be seen um, as strong. They want to be seen as someone who is powerful, someone who is strong in their life. Yeah, this is the story of a transformation. You know, the, we see here the 13, the number 13. And the number 13 is the death card in tarot. And that card talks about the endings, but also the beginnings. It talks about the transformations. It talks about turning a bad situation into a better one. So I believe um, being transformative is the key word for these people and i see here the capricorn energy and also as we mentioned the death card maybe some scorpio energy yeah capricorn and scorpio and these are actually very loyal people yeah but it is not easy for them to trust in someone you know maybe uh, because of that past trauma uh, they can have some trust issues and they can have some commitment issues so also the devil talks about uh, a person who is a workaholic so they can be very perfectionist uh, they can be very workaholic maybe their career their work maybe also their art because you know the painter talks about a, a creative a productive person who likes to imagine who likes to create things in their life so maybe their art their career you know their finances can be in the first place 
in their life. This is their priority. So, and I believe they are very charming, very beautiful, and they are, you know, just like um, when they enter a place, it's like they put some spell on other <laughs> people. Yeah, they are very magnetic. They are very magnetic, very uh, captivating and sexy, actually. So, okay. Let's see the tarot cards. Okay. It's also going to talk about their characteristics. Ace of Pentacles, Hermit, Sun, Knight of Wands, and Ten of Swords. Yeah. This is someone who likes to spend their time um, alone, you know, because they find peace in their lonely space. Being alone doesn't mean, you know, uh, lonely in a bad way you know it is uh, a peaceful state of mind and actually i also begin um, they seem really colorful full of life and you know very how can i say light-hearted on the outside you know the sun card knight of wands it talks about very dynamic people so when you see them in a social gathering when you see them in a social environment you'll definitely think that uh, this person is very charming so why are they alone this person is very beautiful this person is very handsome very charming, very charismatic, very sexy. So why are they alone? Because they don't uh, trust in people, you know. They have uh, trust issues. Can you see the Ten of Swords? Yeah. They tested the uh, betrayal. Yeah. From their loved ones maybe their partners betrayed them maybe their own parents maybe their own siblings their own friends betrayed them and can you see the blood here yeah it's directing to this flower so it seems like yes the woman um you know killed by the swords but actually she is holding the sword so maybe, as I said before, they were too much submissive. They were too much, you know, obedient to the people in their lives. So they choose the wrong people. They choose the toxic people to be with. Whether it's romantic or a friendly way. But that didn't kill them up, obviously. So it brings them some um, new sense of understanding the life. You know, it's a new flower growing from this blood. But actually, this is like, you know, the death card. Yeah, this is like the death card. So also what signs I see here mentioning with that card. Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo and Ace of Pentacles tell, uh, talks about the pure earth element. So we can say Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, yes. But mostly we see Capricorn and Virgo from the 
earth sign so this is someone who prefers being alone yeah because they don't want to be with wrong people again so maybe if they had some marriages before uh, maybe they don't want to be married again when you meet them maybe they talk like this you know like I was married before but I got divorced so I don't think about the marriage okay so actually <laughs> they are mistaken because you know they are going to marry you <laughs> this is the purpose of the reading and here we see the card uh, some card like some kind of a marriage team yeah can you see birds are coming together holding these red ropes and also we had the same team in here in previous cards so you know this is like a wedding to me <laughs> this is like a marriage um love to me yeah and maybe doves and um, birds other kinds of birds can be important for you and them those can be important for the sake of uh, this relationship yeah and I believe this person um, yeah very intellectual very knowledgeable and also very wise with here the you know the hermit they are holding their light uh, to lightening up their way so when you have hermit you cannot trust uh, others but just you know trust yourself so this is their mind state yeah they are like I am going to be all alone in my lifetime and I believe uh, they are not thinking marriage as a part of their way even if they didn't get married before you know even if they were single all the time it doesn't matter they don't think about marriage because they lost their you know trust but my friend you are going to marry so bad <laughs> to my <laughs> viewer here yeah and also what I see here a person who loves to be challenged with the knight of wands so when they think of something when you know a flame burn in their head they just go they just go after that and also with the ace of pentacles and sun yeah it completes the meaning they are not afraid of new beginnings because you know they had so many endings and even though these endings were hard they were not afraid of uh, beginning a new cycle so this is their life story yeah and also the sun card is the uh, opposite card of that card because we see uh, the child here it's a reincarnation of the child that died in the death card you know there was a child a mother a priest and child were going to die also in the card and here we see that child as a new yeah as they experiencing their new life and also the sunflowers can be important as a symbol for you and them and I believe this is going to be like you know um, 
this person like the sun and you'll just um, turn your face towards them like the you know sunflower because sunflower always follows the sun and because they are very magnetic because they are very charming um, it seems like uh, it's not easy to resist <laughs> their aura yeah they're just you know calling you <laughs> with their you know personality and other threats and here what we see also this can be a you know um, plant person maybe they love to uh, take care of plants maybe they love to nurture plants because what we see earlier here The nourishment and the beauty and here we see the flowers as a woman's face so I believe uh, they love to take care of flowers plants maybe they can have some you know small garden in their house yeah what was the word the green top green finger green top yeah they're just talented at that, you know, they're just talented at uh, raising these flowers, these house plants, maybe even a big garden. Okay. And again with the hermit, they can enjoy the company of uh, pets, the animals. Here we see little mouse, three mouses here. yeah plants and flowers can be their real friend <laughs> yes their pain you know growing that flower like this woman so i believe uh they are you know maybe in that um pandemic in uh 2020 maybe they were you know just having all of the plants in their home yeah that can be the situation okay and also with the hermit i guess they have a big library they love to read and they love to illuminate uh, their shadow side with the philosophy with the psychological um papers maybe books maybe some of them are interested in history literature yeah they can be their uh interests yeah they have some hobbies but these hobbies are you know like just uh, one person kind of thing it, it's it's not a team sport it's not a team hobby okay they don't want to be a part of crowded groups they love to work alone they love to be alone and they actually really um, loves their journey yeah maybe they have this kind of a home you know with a small gardening yeah and here what numbers we see 1 9 19 and 10 9 10 9 10 19 hmm 9 and 10 lots of 9 and 10s you know um it's about completion 9 is being about um close to the completion and 10 is the completion so i believe right now they are ending a cycle and maybe they are about to begin a new cycle and i believe this is going to be with you yeah so let's see your relationship with each other <laughs> how is it going to be Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Loving Touch, the Sacred Union of Bodies. Moving forward, someone is ready to take things forward and direction. Your relationship has a specific purpose. So, when you meet each other, when you know each other, I believe uh, immediately you know, yes, this person is going to be special for me. You know that and also they are going to know that, okay? Because with the Ace of Cups and here with the Romantic cards, it seems like, you know, when you come together, um, that's going to feel like very sacred union, a very sacred, very uh, divine meeting. So your la uh, your heart maybe <laughs> begins to uh, you know pa -pa 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 your heart beats yeah can be speed up when you see each other and this person is going to try um, how can I say being close to you okay. They are going to do lots of romantic gestures here with the Knight of Cups. They are going to um, come you as in a very romantic way. Okay, this is going to be fast and romantic. And maybe when you touch each other's body, it can feel like, oh my God, this is very spiritual. This is very romantic. This is very special. This is not like the other ones, okay? And here we see the man with the flowers, like, you know, the Knight of Cups coming towards you. They will make lots of romantic gestures to get your heart. But actually, I believe your heart is going to be taken immediately, but you are not going to show that, okay? It's like you are going to be like, you know, hmm, I don't know, hmm, I'm not sure, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> okay? You are going to uh, play cool. So they are directed towards you and they are going to say, yes, this someone is going to be special for me. You know, when you see someone and you say just, I'm going to marry this person someday. This is going to be that kind of a relationship. And because they don't think about marriage, <laughs> when they meet you, they are going to be shocked. You know, they are going to be shocked because they are going to be like, oh my God, I wasn't thinking about marriage. But when I saw you, when I meet you, this is the first thing comes to my mind. But um building up this relationship building up this um marriage journey it's going to take time okay it's going to take time with here the seven of pentacles it will require some kind of patience maybe you or them can be in you know uh in a difficult position maybe you are going to be in different cities maybe even in different countries because time is going to intervene okay time is going to intervene in a, your relationship and you are going to wait for each other but please be careful because for some of you not the majority but the minority um can be get pregnant okay <laughs> in early stages of your relationship so either way i believe you are going to have a child together yeah yeah you are going to try to get a very fast you know it can be um before marriage but if it happens after marriage that can be very fast so if you don't want to have a child please be careful <laughs> because it is not easy for you and them to be uh, stay calm 
you know <laughs> you are going to be very you know fast and furious <laughs> okay pile number two this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading uh please forgive me for my you know mistakes in speaking <laughs> Um, I really get excited about this reading. I don't know why, but this was like, you know, um, it should be <laughs> in here. So if you like the reading, please subscribe to my channel and you can have a look at other videos and you can leave a comment below. So thank you so much for being here with me. Bye. Pile number three. Welcome back. So I put some of the oracle cards and we are going to look at your uh, future spouse qualities, characteristics and um, hints of their life story, okay, their life journey. So first of all, that can be from your past, you know, I have here some uh, closure, the hermit, the path, the void, you know, that can be someone from your past, okay? Maybe um, a person you think, yes, we have some kind of closure and it ended and this book is not going to open again. But actually, if the traits I am going to talk resonates, yes, that can be from your past. Okay, that can be an X, I don't know. So let's begin with the indicator card, uh, the cat in the back. <laughs> it's the hermit, the number is nine. So we see a cute and um, somehow a covert cat hiding in a back, hiding in a shopping bag. And on it, we have the eye of Horus. So it also means the protection, healing, and also knowing uh, all of the things. So this is someone who is a wise person. Yes, they uh, hide in the dark. Yes, they hide in their home, hide in their safe place, as we can see here. But also, um they are very knowledgeable okay they examine examine the word they examine their conscious subconscious and conscious uh, they examine their true self and you know they can bring uh, enlightenment enlightenment to their how can I say current state okay they face uh, their old selves their past their um, history but I believe they are not afraid to uh, face with that okay they just uh, take the lessons from their past because the hermit is someone who's very wise but they spent their time alone they spent their most of the time in this kind of you know darkness but actually sometimes uh, being alone being in some rest and reset is you know our way of charging ourselves so i believe all of us um needs that you know actually i do that when i had a rough day when i had a very uh how can i say very dynamic day <laughs> when i work too much i just uh turn off the lights go to my bed <laughs> take my cover you know take my blanket and i just you know rest in the dark it just you know chars me it just resets me refreshes me so i believe this person does the same thing okay um here we see the void 
some people can see the darkness as a void but actually darkness is um, a way of protection okay the black color and darkness is this symbol for the protection okay it's the protective energy it's also very feminine energy okay so maybe uh, they are tuned into their feminine side their feminine energy and it doesn't matter what gender um, they are you know feeling themselves okay but there is some working feminine side here they are very sensitive they are very healing and also they are very pure here can you see the pretty card yes the woman is closing her eyes but actually this is a way uh, for her to examine the inner truth to examine the inner strength when you close your eyes then maybe sometimes you can find the uh, simplest cleanest solution you know you can understand your motives and you can be uh, very clear in your communications with the others yeah so sometimes it's really important to you know hide in <laughs> our shells and i believe they are doing that they see the darkness as a um, time of possibility you know in darkness there are so many possibilities there are so many secrets and it's the state of everything and nothing at the very same time and in this darkness when you see nothing you can make fresh plans for your future so it's really um calming energy it's a very calm person also very calm yeah and also it seems like um they had some kinds of closure with their past yeah they ended some cycles that doesn't serve them anymore maybe right now uh, they are experiencing a breakup from someone but actually closure means also um, a, wonder, a wonderful opportunity wait for us so this is someone who can say when something is enough then that's enough you know enough is enough they can accept an ending they can accept uh, breakups even they can accept losing someone you know maybe uh, grief maybe grief for someone they love that can be a familiar feeling for them and here actually I'm uh, sensing so much how can I say Batman <laughs> story yeah because what I see here the vengeance overcoming slights a choice yes also this person is um, at their prime time you know when it is dark when it is night that can be a night person that can be a night oval you know like the batman <laughs> and they know actually the vengeance card is about um yes we can all have bad feelings okay we can all have negative feelings we can all have negative instincts but we always have a choice so address um, our negative feelings into a healthier way is a way to sustain 
are the right so this person is very aware of that okay they can address their negative feelings into a better way into a healthier way they are good at letting go of bad emotional patterns yeah they can face with feeling of you know emptiness drain but they can fill this void with you know um, healthier adjustments okay they learn how to build positive relationships they um they change their energy you know they can address their anger their jealousy you know they are all of these uh, negative feelings in a much more healthier and a very uh, inspirational way i love this inspiration card so much <laughs> this is really beautiful and i see that as a very um hopeful card you know there is always light in some darkness like you know dumbledore's dumbledore says when it is dark we can always light the candles we can always have this light as long as we live as long as we are having breaths so your person your future spouse is very aware of this fact okay they are very um sensitive very creative they are feeling good in nature they love to spend their time in nature and also uh they love taking long walks okay when they want to uh blow off these cobwebs in their minds when they want to clear their mind when they need this you know pretty to lighten up this void to lighten up this darkness yeah they just uh take long walks in the nature maybe running maybe swimming but you know you get the idea it is their uh, way of channeling their energy yeah this is really inspiring you know this is very inspiring and I believe they are, um, how can I say, a beacon of light, you know, they are this source of inspiration for the other people in their lives. They are a very good example for others, for their community. Yeah. And here what we see is the beaver spirit. And it says um, build a solid foundation so yes they are very good at building solid foundations because they are channeling their energy into a much more healthier way we are also seeing the path card you know yes um, here is dark but when she climbs this ladder through the window there is light but taking these steps require patience determination persistence strength and i believe your future spouse is going to have all of these threats so maybe you are going to admire them so much you know you are going to appreciate them you are going to be a fan of them because you are going to respect them so much you are going to respect um you know their courage their strength and their this you know inspir inspir oh, inspirational uh state yeah they are not someone who is in a uh, victim mentality no this is not for them 
yes they had so many um, bad experiences but no they didn't be the victim they didn't accept this role actually they resisted maybe they were the victim by the way maybe they were the victim if we look from outside but they didn't accept this role that life gives them so they are you know the um, game changer okay they are the game changer and here I see an anchor so maybe you know they can be related to the seas maybe anchor can be important mm -hmm. maybe some marines maybe their occupation you know their job can be related to the seas and ships okay so let's see their tarot cards okay strength <laughs> i love this strength card so much queen of pentacles page of pentacles devil and the moon remember what i said at the beginning of the reading there is a strong feminine energy and you know the feminine energy is about nurturing it's about giving it's about um giving and receiving you know it's a receptive energy but it also uh gives care for other people it's like being mothering so what we see here the strength card there is a bear and her cups you know her babies and the woman is taking care of them you know bears um seems like yes very big animals very courageous animals but actually bears are very um shy you know they're very shy and they are very protective of their loved ones so your future spouse is someone yes they're shy <laughs> you know they're hiding but also um they are very courageous when it comes to protect their loved ones you know their babies their loved ones and you actually because you are going to be their loved ones they are very kind very loyal and very gentle at the same time uh, also think of the bears okay um, they get into sleep for like you know six months to refresh their energy to be prepared for the spring you know and <laughs> bears actually um, give birth to their children in their sleep did you know that yeah so sleeping is a way of protecting their energy it's a way of surviving so as i said before for these people being in the dark staying in the dark all alone <laughs> sleeping maybe resting this is really changing their energy this is their way of surviving yeah this is their way of summoning up their strength and yes they are very strong actually they are very loving and maybe this is the best quality of them okay they are very caring they are very kind very beautiful and here we see a woman who is a healer i guess yeah she has this bag and the cup so your future spouse can be prepared for everything in this life yeah they are preparing for everything because they want to be um, in a safe place they want to feel secure you know we see her queen of pentacles and page of pentacles 
and they're all very earthly characters okay they are very earthly and queen of pentacles is someone who is yes very loyal and also very comforting people you know they love to comfort their loved ones and their love language is touching okay they love to touch and also they love to feed so if this person cooks for you <laughs> you can know that yes they love you because it's the way of queen of pentacles to show their love to show their interest and you know they are one with this tree so they want to be uh, rooted they want to expand their roots they want to be maybe a generation but I believe this is not like just you know I'm going to have children and they are going to you know um, a part of my legacy no it is not like that I believe they want to leave something behind when they uh, pass through this world you know maybe some you know art maybe some books they created they write yeah they want to uh, be somehow reminded by others even if you know they are not in this world and also they are very hard working for some of them they can be workaholic or um, when they get a question in their mind when they have uh, some business to deal with I believe they cannot sleep until they just you know solve the problem you know until they finish the book <laughs> when they start a book when they begin to read a book it's like you know until they finish the book the entire book it's like they cannot sleep but you know they just sleep while reading this can you see <laughs> she just in a sleep and the bee here the honeybee is on the book yeah as i said before they love to be in nature they love to swim yes but also they love to be with animals and i believe um they have some special interest in wild animals okay maybe like you know the bears maybe lions tigers yeah they can have some pets yes but you know it's like uh even if they pet have pets they like the wild life okay like you know wild life photographers yeah they can be one of them <laughs> but actually um if they are using an instagram they are following lots of lots of wildlife <laughs> pages yeah they are following lots of wildlife photographers yeah this is like that and here in the devil card can you see even the devil is a feminine so most of the devil cards it's you know the male very masculine devil sometimes it's an animal most of the time it's a goat but that's uh, a male character so here we see a female devil even the devil card is very feminine here and moon cards is all about feminine so i believe um they know how to tune in to feminine side and maybe uh, they raised with lots of you know sisters maybe their uh, mother was so much close to them yeah they know how to talk with women yeah and they have some secrets they are not showing to others yes 
it can be because yes they are shy but it's like you know uh, it can be not so much easy for them to share everything so they are hiding some things to themselves but if you be a part of their life keep uh, you are going to be yes they will share everything with you can you see the man and woman are looking at each other and here we see a cup so obviously they are lovers they share the cup and they are together in health or in sickness they are together in good and bad yeah this is someone whom you can trust in your bad times when you get sick this is this person is going to um, look at you you know they are going to nurture you they are going to make soup for you they are going to be like you know did you take your vitamins did you take your medicines um, <laughs> did you drink enough water yeah this is going to be that kind of person and they can be very um, <laughs> it reminds me you know Edward Cullen oh my god <laughs> I am very productive of you <laughs> <laughs> that gave me that vibe I'm sorry uh, it's like you know they are going to be like I'm very protective of you <laughs> and if you are not um, get used to that you know if this is a strange feeling for you that can be bothering at the um, begin of, beginning of this relationship you know that can be somehow um, what are we going to do <laughs> you know but they are going to be very protective of you <laughs> also the bear card talks about this you know the bears in strength yeah they don't show that but i believe they also know how to fight hmm yeah they are looking like you know uh they are a delicate flower <laughs> like this queen of pentacles they seem like that on the outside but if they get into trouble but um, if they feel like they have to defend themselves maybe this person know some of you know uh, martial arts you know some uh, karate judo Taekwondo, I don't know, maybe boxing. They know this kind of stuff. Yeah, but they are very gentle, you know. <laughs> if this is a female, yeah, she is very ladylike. Yeah, she is such a lady. But did you see her at a fight? <laughs> and if this is a male, you know, if this is a masculine, yes, they are very gentlemen. Yes, they are like, you know, this honorable knights but remember yes knights can be very honorable can be very gentle very charming but they know how to use a sword they know how to defend themselves so i believe <laughs> they have this kind of hidden uh, skills hidden talents and when you get to know each other better over time you are going to see that part of them okay you are going to see and i believe they are going to share um, all of their fantasies all of their secrets with you okay you are going to be like partners in crime okay and here the moon card moon card is the pisces so um let me talk about the signs here virgo leo capricorn capricorn again and pisces and the page of pentacle is the pure form of earth element so uh how can i say this can be capricorn virgo taurus okay this can be 
any of them but we see here lots of Capricorn and Virgo energy with Pisces and Leo so let me just okay my battery is going to die so <laughs> sorry <sighs> So they have this secretive size, but also they have this um, sensitive side. Okay, they are sensual, yes, but they are also very sensitive to their instincts. They are intuitive, okay, they are intuitive. They sense things, but they don't share with others. They don't tell to other people. They can have some informative dreams okay when they sleep they can see some things some uh, things that are going to happen in reality but they just don't tell that okay Th that is their secret yeah and they are proud of their body actually mm -hmm. here we see naked characters figures on the cards so if they are alone in their home maybe they don't put so much clothes on and definitely there are uh, people like you know sleeps naked okay this is refreshing for them sleeps naked yeah they are sleeping naked <laughs> okay so let's see your relationship with them ace of wands eight of cups two of swords dreaming someone is ashamed of his feelings and do nothing they are shy you know they are shy new beginning a more satisfying relationship is about to begin and courage believe in your attractiveness so as i said before they are shy you know even if they are very handsome very beautiful very charismatic it doesn't matter uh they are shy okay they know they are beautiful they know they are handsome they know they are attractive but uh they are shy so when you see each other when you meet each other um immediately you know the flames <laughs> this is hot but um to get to know each other to being close this is going to take some time okay they are going to be dreaming of you uh thinking about you a lot but um taking actions I believe this is going to take some time so maybe uh, your future spouse cannot be the person who makes the first move the first move may come from you okay yeah because you know they are going to be ashamed of their feelings and they are going to be you know I am alone <laughs> I'm alone in my secret space yeah they are going to be separate themselves for a time it's like you know again the edward <laughs> he was you know uh staying away from bella so maybe you can be there bella <laughs> okay i'm just kidding this is the energy i'm getting but you can be in different uh cities or countries okay there can be some long distance issue here and actually um you know can you see night and day maybe you know uh this is a time zone yeah maybe some time difference because of your you know geographical distance yeah it can be really maybe different parts of world but actually i see like you know um for a very long time you are going you are not going to be sure about their feelings because you know they are not going to show that and 
that can be very uh, frustrating for you you know are they love me do they love me do they have interest in me you can ask that question so many times to yourself you can think like am i dreaming that i am just fantasi fantasizing about that is that my just my imagination yeah you are going to be confused but with time with over time maybe it can uh took a year yes you can be together because you know this is going to be your future spouse and when it start this is going to be very satisfying for both of you okay so pile number three this was your reading i hope you enjoyed the reading please forgive me for my <laughs> speaking mistakes i am not good at that but i am trying <laughs> i am trying so if you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below i will be very happy and it is always a pleasure to see you here so thank you for being here and i hope to see you in other videos so take care of yourself bye